Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Adventurer. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, it's Bonington's Pub Ale. Or at the bar that I worked at, where the guy called it the Albino Guinness. <laughs> um, because it's nitrogen. So, I'm not going to have the perfect pour. Yeah, I'm even running this in 4K. So, we'll see. Because it has a widget in it. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't told that ahead of time. I picked the can up and I heard it. Wait a minute, is that a widget? <laughs> so we'll see how it... I don't know how yep. this will play out in the video. as much as I will but that one should be a little creamier since I poured that first all right you see the color mm -hmm. I want you to have a drink mm -hmm. the first time I had it was when I was working down in Daytona Beach and I was all like hey I've never had that beer let me try that and it was on nitro so it was way creamier looking it's 4.6 percent alcohol that's pretty good and where is the from in mm. England, I think it says imported from Britain. Is, yeah, is but, there, it's, but uh, other than that, I didn't see anything. Uh, it's very good. I don't remember if it ever actually said where in Britain it was. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. British. Yep. I like them. <laughs> That's good. Um, it has, it has what I, I say is kind of a decidedly European ale flavor. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a tiny bit dry. Yeah. That second drink was much drier than the first one. It's a little more sharp. Mm-hmm. Um, it's act. We're actually probably drinking it a little colder than we should. We should. Yeah. Mm. Um. There. Honestly, they're going to be just a smidge bitter for some mm. American beer tastes. Yeah. Um, they actually drink a beer called a bitter over there. I've had a couple of them. Mm. Um, I got into them and was drinking them at this one place because it wasn't the beer that I was used to. It was something different. Mm. It was when I went in there. I was in an Irish pub, I drank Guinness, and one day I saw somebody order one, and I was like, what is that? And he said, it's Bonnington's. And I said, let me have one of those. He goes, it doesn't taste like Guinness. And I was like, I hope not, it doesn't look like Guinness. Right. And I it tried it, like and he's like, like, what do you think? And I was like, ooh, it's a little bitter, I like it. It is a little bitter. Um, it's, it's not for the casual American beer drinker. I don't no. really think. No. Um, mm. It's got the characteristics it's it's of an different. ale. But the thing that I've always thought was neat because it was smooth and it's sharp. It's bitter and it's slightly sweet. Yeah. It's dry, but it's not dry. Yeah. It is it is a decidedly complex and interesting beer. And yeah, no, that it is, yeah. I'll be honest, it's not something I drink on a regular basis, but conversely, it's not something I can get on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Like, I got it out of the market. I don't know if they even sell it here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't decide how I feel about it. 
I told you, it's very interesting. Right. I'm not crazy about the aftertaste. And y'all know, if you watched any of the videos with me in them, I am all about the aftertaste. That's why I actually it lasts wanted, longer than... That's than why I wanted you taste. to drink it, is because that little bit of bitterness. Yeah, I don't know. I wanted to know how, if it was too bitter for you. I don't know how I feel about it. I really don't. The mouthfeel is crazy smooth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It leaves this little... Yeah. Um. I think it. I think the dryness bothers me more than. I don't know. It's that. I also not not to be rude. I think you're taking too small of a drink. I think you need um, to take a. Switch. That second one was a big drink. I didn't like it. Oh okay. Because I know like the third one I didn't. Drink a lot so. of a lot of the yeah. Europeans I that like I would them. wait on, they take big drinks of beer. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't like it on a big drink. I, okay. I prefer it with a smaller drink. It's too much. It's too much. I mean, yeah, I have a lot of really neat memories with this beer. Um, but I like the taste of it. I like, I like that it's not sweet corn beer. I like that No, it's, it's not. But it has a but it's not like, to it. But it's dry, but it's, I don't know, it's... It's, it's very strange. It's not like hoppy bitter. No, it's not hoppy. It's a, I wouldn't even describe it as bitter. It's this dry. I love the smell of this beer. It's dry. It's, it's dry like a white wine. Like, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the aftertaste. They're not for everybody. No, I mean, yeah. That's fine. I'm okay. Um, I mean, I'm glad I tried it. I, you know, I mean, I'm not mad at it. It's just it's not my thing, chicken wing. <laughs> hey, we've gotten her a long way. Years ago, it wasn't even. I know I won't have a beer, <laughs> and now it's, you know, imperial. Barrel aged <laughs> bourbon <laughs> stout <Hot> nitro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I've just about rounded out about as good as I can describe it. Um, I am a fan. I like them. I think they're neat. Um, I like the flavor. By the way, they go fantastic with food. Mm -hmm. Um, and a lot of pub food. Okay. Uh, it works well with tame spicy. It calms down greasy, uh, like burgers. Okay. Uh, like something like a big fat shepherd's pie. <laughs> it kicks ass on. I'm gonna be honest. I, I know from experience. I was say you you speak like a man who knows what he's. Uh, what he's talking about. by the way, it also goes fantastic with hot wings. Um. Yeah, so we've dealt with that. Well, if you guys have had this or you liked it, let's talk about this down in the comments. I love to talk to uh, the viewers and subscribers. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Let's me know you care. Helps out in the YouTube algorithm, and Lord knows we could always use that. Uh, if you'd like to be a subscriber, I would love to have you. Uh, one of my subscribers has suggested that we call the subscribers the ABVs, the Associate Beard Venturers. Uh, right now, I'm really digging that. I think that's great. I like it. I think it's cute. Uh, thanks, LFA. That works. Works good. Uh, now, let's see. I'll see what I can find. Put it down in the description. The description's also going to have uh, various social media links, stuff like that. You'll also find my merch store. Hey, it's a print on demand. They have all kinds of stuff. Shirts. Stickers. Posters, mouth Shower pads. Curtains. Yeah. Uh, if you buy stuff, I get some money. I buy beer. Then I make videos with it. You know, it's the circle of life. Now, first and foremost, on all my beers, the most important thing, did you dig it? I did. Mm. You're at a mat. I can see. Mm. And that's okay. Mm. Two years from now, you may be, you I can may be slamming these. I can appreciate the weirdness. <laughs> No, I don't think so. 
Okay. I'm all about the aftertaste. Would you have it again? Biscuit. Probably not. I will. Eventually, she'll have it again. Because <laughs> we'll be somewhere. And, and somebody will have it. Somebody will have it. And she goes, man, it's been years since I had one of those. Let me get a taste. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen that happen. Now, um, is it pick six worthy? Beyond a shadow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I like them. Uh, if you've never had it, by all means, give it a shot. Now, I will say, if you get it on nitro in a bar or pub, that is by far a better way to have it. Okay. Um, by far. It's even smoother. I think there's a little less bitterness at the end. That would be uh, nice. On draft. But I'm a big fan of if a bar keeps their draft system in order, everything's better on draft. Yeah. I just, it just is. Now, um... On a scale of one to ten, one's the lowest, ten pints is the highest. Where are you at? I'm I'm gonna give it a six because there's a lot of things in it that I can appreciate even though I don't like it. Okay. I think it's it's probably way above average, but it, it's a little above. I, I give it a six just because I, I can appreciate the things it's got going on even if I don't like the taste. So. Um. On this one, I am on an eight, and to be honest, a lot of times I've said, oh, it's a seven, but it gets a point for how great it was. No, this one's an eight, just because I actually really like the way the beer works when I'm at the bar. Um, and this is honestly the first time I've ever had it in a can outside. Mm -hmm. I always got it from the bar on draft. I will say it is a little better on draft. This is not bad at all. Um, I like big drinks of it. It works super well with food. It's not so alcoholic that after I've had four or five of them, I'm smashed. Right. I mean, I think it's a fantastic European ale. And that's everything I wanted for, from it. And that's everything it gave me. Okay. So... Does everything that it should have. There you are. Well, there you have it. Until your next beer adventure. Cheers.